Hello everyone, this is Kimberly Stallings here from Adult Education. I wanted to take this time to say congratulations on all of your achievements. A job well done, you should be very proud of your accomplishments. So once again, congratulations and enjoy the day. Congratulations, graduates. We're so proud of your accomplishments and we wish you well in the future. Welcome to Cecil College's completion ceremony. Your resilience and resolve in responding to the COVID-19 pandemic has earned this group an esteemed distinction. Each of you has made an individual sacrifice for the well-being of the greater good. You have handled the COVID-19 pandemic, remote learning, and our virtual completion ceremony with grace and dignity. And for that, Cecil College and your community thanks you. As we all join together, each in our own way to recognize you, we can think of no greater honor than what you have actually bestowed upon all of us. We congratulate you not only for your accomplishments, but for the outstanding character that each of you has displayed during this very challenging and difficult time. In addition to the high accomplishments of completing your program, you have also demonstrated to all of us that you are ready to face and surmount any challenge that life has to offer with quiet resolution and an admirable concern for the greater good. You have proven without a doubt that you possess not only the skills, but the strength, maturity, and compassion to truly succeed in life. Going forward, I urge you to continue partnering with Cecil College for your lifelong learning needs. Congratulations to each of you and to your families. Hello, I'm Dr. Christy Dreyer, Vice President of Academic Programs at Cecil College, and I'd like to add my welcome to the Career and Community Education Completion Ceremony for 2020. I am so happy to be here with you. Regardless of why you are celebrating, completion of the medical assistant or HVAC program, attainment of your commercial driver's license, or graduating with your GED, this event marks a wonderful accomplishment and a time for celebration. This is a culmination of months of hard work and sacrifice. You studied, you asked questions, you attended classes, you made new friends, and you acquired new skills and knowledge along the way. I urge you to stop and enjoy the moment. Think of how far you have come and all you have gained during your time here at Cecil College. And whatever your next step may be, Cecil is here to help. What a joyous occasion, and I join you, your family, and friends 
in celebrating your achievements. Congratulations. Hi, I'm Miles Dean, Dean of Career and Community Education. Welcome to the second annual Career and Community Education Completion Ceremony. I'm honored to be here with you, virtually of course, to recognize the accomplishments of our GED graduates and program completers. Certainly, we all wish we could be together, watching our students walk across the stage, giving hugs, high fives, and fist pumps. We cannot be together for this celebration, but that does not diminish the accomplishments of this class. Yes, this year's event is different, but as you know, this hasn't been a typical year. We've had to modify our routines, become more flexible, and devise new strategies for success. This virtual ceremony is proof of that. To all GED graduates and program completers, congratulations. Your resilience and determination in the midst of so much uncertainty is to be commended. These characteristics will serve you very well in your future endeavors. Take pride in your accomplishments, especially this year. You earned it. Before we move on with our program, I'd like to thank a few people. Dr. Bolt, President of Cecil College, thank you so much for your continued support of career and community education. Dr. Dreyer, Vice President of Academic Programs, again, thank you so much for your continued support uh, of all of our efforts and endeavors in career and community ed. I have to thank my team, all of my directors, program specialists, administration team, and instructors. What you've been able to pull off in these very challenging circumstances this year has been nothing less than amazing. I know our completers and, and graduates um, share my sentiment in thanking you for everything you've done to make this a memorable year. Again, congratulations. Thanks for choosing Cecil College. Good evening, faculty, staff, family, friends, and graduates. It is an honor for me to be speaking with you today. Graduates of the class of 2020, congratulations. I would like to thank Ms. Vicki, Ms. Kim, Ms. Carolyn Fletcher, and the whole adult education program at Cecil College. Every one of you have made an impact on the graduates who are here today. My name is Glover Colbert, and I am proud to be sharing some of my experiences with you all. This has been a long road for me. I can remember I used to always tell my family that I was going to get my GED, and for whatever reason at the time, it would get put to the side. Finally, at the age of 33, I stopped procrastinating. I talked with someone at Cecil College, and next thing I knew, I was in classes. After a few months, I felt like I was ready to take the test. I knew it would be difficult, but I also knew that if I didn't decide to take the test, then I was probably going to end up putting it off for a few more years. I'm glad to say I took all four parts of the test and passed every one on the first try. I was able at that time to be able to say for the first time I have my diploma. This is something my family has wanted for me for over 10 plus years, and now I have achieved one of my biggest goals, and my family proud at the same time. Every end has a new beginning. When I started preparing for this journey, I wasn't sure if I would be able to finish. I was starting a new journey where I set the rules and guided myself. I am proud to say that I made the right decision. It is an act not only of personal commitment, but one of pride. We all worked hard to get to this day and it goes to show that you can achieve whatever you want in life all you have to do is believe that you can wherever your future takes you let it take you somewhere graduation is not the end it is part of the larger journey in life as we continue on in our lives let us take each new challenge on with confidence knowing that we have achieved great heights 
and are equipped with the necessary tools to tackle our futures. As you cherish the memories of your hard work, I wish that success keeps following us in everything that we do today and always. Thank you. And this is Farah, and we're here at Cecil County Animal Services where I volunteer. I decided to join the vet assistant program so I could learn all that I could about the care of these guys for Farah and many others like her. I began volunteering here at CCAS several years ago, and I love being around the animals so much that it made perfect sense to me to learn all that I could to know how to care for them. The vet assistant program was perfect because I could fit it around my work schedule, my volunteer time. Dr. Kent was fabulous. She's very knowledgeable and she made every topic interesting. Well, hours gave me valuable insight into best practices in both vet offices and in the care of shelter. I'm not sure I will pursue this as a career change. I am better for the knowledge that I gained because of this course. Hi everyone, my name is Cameron McCullough. I'm a student here at Cecil College working towards my associate degree in nursing. Last fall, I completed the CNA GNA program here at Cecil College. A year ago, I was working to finish up my prerequisite courses before applying for my RN and I wanted to gain some experience in the field I plan to work in as a nurse. I had no idea what I was getting myself into at the time, but I knew I loved the idea of being a CNA GNA before becoming a nurse. At the time, I saw the program as a stepping stone before becoming a nurse and I can say now the program was so much more. I'm so thankful that I completed this program before entering the world of nursing. I will start by saying I learned more in this program than I ever could have imagined. I did not just learn how to physically care for people, and although we do those things as CNA, GNAs, I learned so much more than that. I learned how to listen, love, and care for people in a holistic manner. That is something that cannot simply be taught by reading a textbook, but it's acquired through experiences in the classroom and more specifically in the clinical setting. My heart is forever changed after caring for the elders at Calvert Manor last fall during my clinical time there. There's no greater blessing in my opinion than being able to care for someone in the final stages of their life. There's so much more to being a CNA GNA than just taking vital signs and helping patients with their activities of daily living. These are very common misconceptions regarding the CNA GNA's role. CNA GNAs are part of the backbone of healthcare and we are often with our patients the most, which means we can recognize these changes in our clients the most. CNA GNAs are essential to healthcare. As a CNA GNA program graduate now working in the emergency department, can attest to that statement by the many times I have called a problem with a patient by simply listening and making them feel comfortable with telling me what's going on with their care. I have nothing but positive remarks to say about the healthcare careers programs at Cecil College. The instruction is unmatched, especially from my instructors, Mary Beth Nagy and Wendy Turpin. They are amazing. Whether it was staying late or coming in early to teach a skill for the hundredth time or baking brownies to keep us going at the end of our program, they did it and they were there for us every step of the way during the entire program cannot say enough good things about them. The lessons they taught me, I will carry with me throughout my career in healthcare, and I'm sure my classmates can say the same. For some of us, this program was a career change. For some, it was a branch out into the medical field. For some, it was a lesson. For myself and many others, it was a prerequisite before becoming a nurse. And no matter what it was for all of us, it was an amazing experience that I will remember forever and recommend to all who may be interested. Congratulations to everyone who have made it through a healthcare careers program at Cecil College. I would like to wish everyone good luck in your future endeavors. As Mahatma Gandhi said it best, the best way to find yourself is to lose yourself in the service of others. Thank you.